Hey, I'm Kylie of Kylie M Interiors, online paint color consultant and e-design expert. Today we're taking a look at Benjamin Moore Muslin. As you can see, Muslin is a warm beige paint color. Now being a beige, it will have undertones. You're going to have yellow, orange, pink, or you can even grab a little wink of green. So Muslin, it centers itself more on an orange undertone. Doesn't mean you'll get peach, but it does have a little bit more of an orange undertone, a little wink of pink in there. Muslin is really common for my clients who have beige tiles from the 90s and 2000s. So a lot of times they have similar undertones to muslin versus a more yellow-green approach. Now muslin has an LRV of 67. If you don't know what LRV is, it's light reflectance value. And every color has a number on a scale of 0, which is black, to 100, which is white. At 67, muslin is in the light range, but it's on the slightly higher side of the light range. So if you have a super bright room, muslin will wash out. You'll need a color with a lower LRV, probably like talking like 55 or lower kind of dark. Now, if you have a dark room, muslin adds a really nice soft warmth. Could look maybe a little bit murky, but it's not too bad. You just will need some good interior lighting to help it out so it can be its most beautiful. Now, the best way to pick a paint color is with comparison. So I want to show you a few others. So this is where if you had a super bright room and it was washing out, you might look at something like Shaker Beige. It has a very similar undertone profile, just a lower LRV. So it means it's going to hold itself up a bit better and won't wash out so much. Manchester Tan. So Manchester Tan is very comparable but you can see it has a slightly more yellow undertone. It looks a bit more tan, this looks more beige, and that has a little wink of green in it. That's that sneaky green I was talking about. Uh, oh, I've got Sherwin-Williams Canvas Tan in here too again. So there's Canvas Tan, just a more neutral approach. So if those words, that orange and pink, make you a bit nervous, Canvas Tan is a more neutral approach. Grant Beige. So Grant Beige is really going to help you see the undertones in muslin just in comparison. So check that out, right? So Grant Beige is a bit darker, so it has that lower LRV, and it has a slightly kind of yellow-green undertone to it, which helps you see the gorgeous warmth in muslin. As far as beige paint colors go, muslin is definitely one of my faves because while it has those undertones, they're passive. You're left with just a super soft, warm neutral on your walls. Now, if you have a north facing room, muslin is going to be a really great way to balance out that cool light. You also find the same if you have a east facing room in the afternoon, a west facing room in the morning, those rooms can feel a little flat and drab. Muslin can help with that without looking golden, warm, yellowy, nothing like that. If you have a south facing room or a room with say some afternoon western sunshine, Muslin is going to be beautiful. It's going to warm up, but it's not going to look overly golden because not a lot of people want that overly golden look. Saw a lot of it in the 90s, early 2000s. This is not that kind of beige. It's an updated version of it. Now let's look at the best white paint colors. Benjamin Moore Cloud White. It's all right. Maybe it's a wink of yellow. Too much yellow. It's okay. Chantilly Lace, you can do a color like Chantilly Lace, which is a clean white. It's all right. I personally prefer a little bit more warmth in my white with muslin, just because it's a warm, soft, a little bit more organic feeling color. Simply White has a little wink of yellow in it, so that's sitting a bit better. And I couldn't find my sample of Benjamin Moore White Dove, but I've got Sherwin-Williams Pure White, which is quite comparable, not quite as warm but shows you how just a soft, subtle, warm white can look quite pretty with muslin. So there you have it. I hope you visit me on my blog. I have reviews on many of these colors, if not all of them, as well as other color reviews if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you for watching.